Hello everyone, welcome to Nursing Guru. Today we are going to hear about biomedical waste management. We know that it is very very important for all healthcare professionals. So let's move to the video. Medical waste consists of solid, liquid, sharp, and laboratory waste that are potentially infectious or dangerous and are considered as bio waste. It must be properly managed to protect the general public, specifically healthcare and sanitation workers who are regularly exposed to biomedical waste as an occupational hazard. Then the types of biomedical waste. Biomedical waste differs from other type of hazardous waste such as industrial waste in that it comes from the biological sources or it is used in the diagnosis, prevention or the treatment of the diseases. Common procedures of biomedical waste include hospitals, health clinic, nursing homes, medical research laboratory, offices of the physicians, dentists and veterinarians, home health care services. Biomedical waste management. Let's look about what is biomedical waste management and how it is. Refers to the segregation, collection, transportation and scientific disposal. Then what is the importance of biomedical waste management? First of all, it prevents the physical injury and health hazard to the healthcare workers and the waste handlers. Second one, decreases the risk of nosocomial infection. And another one, prevents degradation of the environment. Next about the type of hospital waste that you again see in the screen. Next, I am going to talk about the health hazards associated with the hospital waste. First one, injury from the sharp to the healthcare professional and the waste handlers. Another one, hospital acquired infection to the healthcare professional as well as the patients. Next is risk of infection to the general public. Another one, spread of blood-borne infectious with used needles. Next, unauthorized repacking and the sale of disposable items items. Next, I am going to talk about the steps of hospital waste management. First is segregation. Segregation is done at the source of generations by the persons who is generating the waste. They should be aware of different color coding given for the non-risk waste, risk waste and the waste with the sharp etc. So that effective segregation take place the point of generation. Second method is collection. Collection is done by the hospital sanitary staff on daily basis as per the hospital policy after wearing proper personal protective equipment. The waste may be transferred to the central waste storage area from there transported for a proper treatment and disposal. Alright, the third method is waste storage. Storage facilities are located within the hospital premises or outside the main building. There may be separate pathway in the hospital building to carry the waste to the storage area. It should have easy approach for the vehicles and not accessible for unauthorized persons and animals. The fourth method is transportation. Off-site transportation is arranged by concerned municipal or local authority. The waste is transported in a closed, particularly designed vehicle only under the supervision of the waste medical officer. Fifth one is the treatment and waste disposal. Treatment and the waste disposal are done as per the guidelines given for the type of hospital waste. The following methods are used. First of all, landfill or deep burial. Waste is buried in a deep trenches at the site away from the wells and the crop field. The trench is filled up to 50 cm from the surface after which is filled up with the soil. The second one is incineration. The wastes are burnt in an incineration. 
Third one is shredders. A bulk wastage of the plastic including the risk waste are disinfected and cut into small pieces and then disposed. Another one is disinfection or autoclaving. Disinfection means it is done by using chemicals. Autoclaving is sterilizing of an equipment using a strong pressurized stream vessels. Alright, now we can just check about what are the nurses responsibilities in biomedical waste management. Segregation of the hospital waste appropriately and immediately and at the time of waste generation. Second is disinfection of the waste so that it is no longer infectious. Another one is disposable item should be mutilated after use to prevent reuse of items. Next is sharp should be placed in a puncture resistant container. And another one is do not overfill the bags. Remove the bags when it is the three-fourth full. Okay, next is during the chemical disinfection ensure that all the surfaces come into contact with the chemical and contact duration should not be less than 30 minutes and change the chemical solution at least once daily. Alright, so far we are discussed regarding the biomedical waste management. I hope it is clear for everyone. If you have any doubts, don't forget to write it in the comment box and share with your friends. If you need any further assistance and help with the nursing studies, don't forget to download Nursing Guru application from the Google Play Store. New version is available now.